Welcome to managing certificates. There's not a whole lot to managing certificates within SQL Server. The biggest thing you have to worry about is changing the password for those certificates in the event that a password has either become compromised or a DBA has left the company. Realistically, the password for the certificate should be done on a fairly regular basis anyway, just in case a backup of the certificate has become compromised without you realizing it. All this is done via the alter certificate statement. The alter certificate statement requires passing in the old password as well as the new password. This ensures that you're not changing the password by accident. The syntax is fairly straightforward. Alter certificate, the name of the certificate you wish to alter. With private key, decryption by password equals the old password. Encryption by password equals, and then the new password. Once that statement is run, the password for the certificate will be changed. And at that point, the old password will become useless. Now when this happens, the data does not need to be decrypted and re-encrypted. All we're doing is changing the password for the certificate itself. We don't need to re-encrypt all the data just because we've changed this password. The password that you're specifying as the new password in the encryption by clause must meet the password security policy requirements of the Windows operating system and the Windows domain if you're a member of a Windows domain. You'll need to check with your system administrator to find out what these exact requirements are. Typically, they require that a password be a minimum of eight characters using three of the four categories of characters, uppercase, lowercase, numeric, and funny characters, or those characters on the number keys when you hold down the shift key. In summary, certificate passwords should be changed as needed, and they should be changed regularly on top of that just to be on the safe side. Changing the password for the certificate does not require that the data is re-encrypted. This is extremely important because if it did, it would generate massive amounts of I.O. Because changing the certificate can be done quickly and easily, you can simply change the certificate at any time within the business day. There's no need to wait for a maintenance window, so there's no need to leave something exposed in the event of some sort of security problem.